Is it is it possible with this kind of technique though that somebody's going to sit there and let's be frank, watch a load of garbage? Or what, what's your take on that? How, mm. You know, how how good a job do people who are watching the film do? <laughs> yeah, well, it's it, it's it puts a lot more responsibility on the viewer than they, they would usually have as like a um, an active viewer of a film, say. Um, there, uh, what I've found um, when people uh, use this interactive film, it's very different. Um, some people are very uh, intrigued by the just the the technique of interacting, and so they spend a lot of time just experimenting with um, how they can control their brain data. Not very many people have used uh, brain control interfaces before, so there's that novelty aspect, which uh, confronted with an interactive film, which again is not super common. Um, sometimes it, their their attention, as it were, goes more on the, the, the actual technology. Um, but I found that um, with the film, it's like 20 minutes or so, um, a lot of people get past that. Um, and because it's so immediate, before I, the, I, the, obviously the blinking is like straight away. Uh, the attention, it's, it's more of a subtle feeling that... Um, you can feel that your mind is doing something, but it's and it's matching up to something that's happening on screen. Uh, it's this like kind of a seesaw between um, your um, you're viewing the film and um, kind of almost like viewing yourself and viewing what what what's happening with the technology, uh, and that's quite interesting. That um, kind of a non um, like interacting with something, but. It's not like pressing a button, it's not like clicking a mouse or using a video game controller, it's something that's it's always happening and you can choose to control it or you can choose to sit back and experience it. This was initially designed as a, a, a one person experience, like initially we had a little tent and you went in and you just watched it by yourself. Um, when we took it on tour, uh, we, we found that um, people would have a little bit of an audience as well and when somebody had watched it and then sat in the audience and saw that the film re didn't repeat itself, uh, it had this, um, it changed each time it watched, like these conversations came up with um, the different viewers and that was really interesting, like people going oh I saw this and I saw that and like kind of putting these puzzle pieces together. Um, so the next iteration of it I uh, started getting three people, I built like four different um, um, interactive techniques using three uh, headsets um, and looking at putting people against each other, making, making them uh, be able to uh, cooperate or collaborate on making a film. And that brought up lots of really interesting things um, where like from people being like scared that other members of their team would, would be able to see inside their mind uh, to having like actual performance anxiety, um, but we, we found like some quite nice um, uh, positive experiences as well, where uh, the members of the group kind of sat back and and kind of let the film take them places and 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 kind of co-created the film together. Um, a lot of people described themselves uh, as directors of the film. Is meditation a distinct thing from attention? Uh, it's distinct, um, and this is, I'm, I find that I can control it if I like kind of be quiet, quiet in my mind, uh, or even just, like, pay attention to my own thoughts. Um, it's not, uh, it's not diametrically opposite. You can um, have high attention and uh, high meditation at the same time. Um, some people say that's like a state of flow, but, but it's, as I say, it's not a medical thing. It's not like it's, it's, it's real data, it's, 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 something's happening in your mind. I don't know if it is like pure attention or if it is pure meditation. I'm, I'm not really claiming that in my work, but it's something that you do control and it can be affected by the film. And that like, kind of two-way effect loop is quite interesting, how the film affects you and your, your brain data then affects the film. You, know, kind of, you can get me a kind of, like, kind of trance-like state with that. So at the minute I'm working on my uh, next film that I've just, I've just finished the... Um, uh, the script now, and that uh, this next film is, is more looking at how you interact with the narrative. So it's, it's built around like three narrative strands, and you are going to be cutting between two of those strands at any one time. Um, and I'm really designed. I've really designed a film to encourage repeat experiences. So it's, it's made so you 
the more times you watch it, the more you're going to get from the narrative and the more things will click. Um, Just to, talking from a completely practical point yeah. of view now then, mm -hmm. um, there'll be people at home going, right, how do I get involved in this? How do I go and see this? How do mm -hmm. I... Do, do you see this as something that will become longer, a big, bigger sort of scale? I don't know what the right phraseology yeah, yeah. is there, but what, tell me what you think about that. I mean, I, I think a, a lot of people are like starting to explore again like, the concept of interactive film. Um, like they've done it a lot in like the nineties, and it didn't really come off very well. And I think this technology and interactive film are quite interesting. Like they mix quite well together. Um, I think if you're like, you're pressing a button to uh, explore like an interactive film, it um, it becomes so much of a game. You, I, when you start putting your attention on what to do next, you're outside of that narrative world. With um, like a headset that supplies in, uh, information all the time you're able to control stuff like almost subconsciously. And I think that it's got a way of like bringing more um, immersion into a film experience. So when the new film's finished, it's gonna go on tour throughout 2018. And we're uh, at the minute kitting out a caravan into a mobile cinema. So we get taking that out to like rural locations, to art venues, to science um, venues, uh, festivals. So hopefully um, I'll be coming to somewhere near you. <laughs>